In this video, we will discuss how to create new patients. Once logged into the system, you will see the main user interface. It is broken up into three lanes. The left lane shows the patient list with all the patients where you can either search by the name, type in the patient ID, or you can simply scroll through. The middle lane shows the patient demographics and information, and the right lane shows the latest updates and the calendar. In order to add a new patient, we will click on the green New button. Then you'll notice that the patient demographic options will be editable. Now the required fields are the first name and the last name. Notice that the ID number is getting automatically generated and it will be further used to identify the patient by the ID rather than by their entire name. Now, statuses can be input here to track different tags of the patient. You can even, even create custom statuses by clicking the green plus button and adding something such as pending insurance and then clicking add. It will then show into the drop down menu. Comments can be input here and used as free text for anything. You can expand the box as much as needed. Appointment reminders can be also set for the text messages or the email. Simply click on the ones that you prefer and put in how many hours prior to the appointment should the system notify the patient of the meeting. Now, let's say I will put 24 hours. One, two. Now, this means that if an appointment is at 4 p.m. tomorrow, they will get notification at 4 p.m. today via SMS and the email. You can choose to upload the patient's photo if it is necessary by clicking the upload photo. Addresses can be entered and automatically filled by Google search. So let's say one, one Main Street, see, Brooklyn, New York, for instance. Next section is the emergency contact. Then underneath that, we have the referral information, and this is a section to notate where the referrals came from, whether it is a referring provider or an external source, such as newspaper or any marketing ads. This is a great way to track where the referrals are coming from and the reports, which will be explained in another video. The last section is the events. Now, this is a great way to add notes or comments to the patient's file, and this can be used for internal communication and reminders. For example, we will click New Event, and notice that the date is getting automatically stamped. We'll put in the description, such as, this is a training video. And we can set a reminder date for the next week, for instance. And once I click Save, it will it should stamp the user's name. Now, if you ever needed to modify any information, simply click on the edit button on the corresponding patient. 